Hi everyone, this is my Catalyst Machine Works Massive Droner build. This frame has got really positive reviews almost everywhere, but somehow my experience with this was far from stellar, so I want to share my findings. Now, I'm gonna talk about the frame problems or the problems I observed first, then I'm gonna briefly go over the specs of the build, then roll in some flight footage and then finally talk about the reasons for the problems that I experienced. So yeah, let's begin with the problems. First of all, and the major one, is frame durability. As you can see, currently it's in a pretty bad shape and I would say that's the typical shape of the frame after you crash it upside down. So what happens is this notches that hold the side plates well connected to the base plate they just pop out and then everything that holds this uh, kind of roll cage is pretty much those nuts at the back and all the load goes into this kind of legs to the sides of the nuts so they break or bend and then it's pretty much done and it's not just you know one crash that I experienced I went through like 10 of side plates and most of them are like that so this one is bent this one has a broken kind of leg um, this one same story and so on I also went through quite some of the front braces and with them the story is really similar it's like one part of them or one side of them they, they break somewhere here like near the place where they are connected to the to the motor so yeah that's that and the bottom plate is actually also not so sturdy so I managed to break those two tabs where the bolts go somehow both of them at the same time there was a really like serious impact from this side like at the cage again and once I also tried to fly without this rear brace here and yeah you, you pretty much have to use it because otherwise this happens so that's the frame durability the other thing is this frame is really hard to assemble and disassemble because everything is like the front part is pretty much interlocked you have to undo the motor screws you have to like fiddle with this brace to like take it off and then you also have to cut all the zip ties that hold like this extra components and then you have to fiddle with these screws to put it back when you assemble it again so it's really painful every time I break it it was like another evening to spend to just you know replace the side plates so that's the, the second thing the third thing which was probably the most surprising is the camera protection this frame is advertised like one of the frames having the best camera protection but for bigger cameras like Micro Eagle which is by the way listed on their website it's not the case because unless you're flying a really crazy up tilt angle your camera is actually sticking out just a little bit so you see that tiny piece of the lens it sticks out and that's enough to either chip the lens or it catches the ground and then the camera rotates and then you snap the connectors at the back so yeah this camera as you can see is pretty beaten up and all that happened in this frame in this, in this build so camera protection is not the best somehow motor protection is actually not really the best as well so these tabs as you can see they're really really thin so this is kinda enough if you fly over grass and dirt but as soon as you crash on concrete or something harder than grass and dirt this happens so yeah and then it looks like that so motor protection is not the best as well and the final problem is the receiver antenna placement see to have the ideal reception you have to have your receiver antennas sticking as far as as they could out of the frame so they're always like in in direct line of sight of the transmitter and they also should be 90 degrees to each other in this frame it's totally not the case and the rssi values that i got with this frame were far from the best and much lower than the other quads having different in placement so yeah this frame is definitely not ideal in many aspects now 
let's talk about the build specs. I built this frame specifically around this RCX H1304 5000 kV motors because I wanted to build a 2.5 inch quad running on 4S. So I fly it with this a Tattoo 75C 450mAh batteries. It flies really really well, decent flight times, a lot of punch, so yeah, I'm actually really satisfied with the build. So the ESC is Spedix 20 amp BL Heli S. The flight controller is Matic F411 Mini, and it's a pretty good flight controller, especially because it has two extra motor outputs, so you can do soft serial for smart board or something like that. And it also has LED pad and RSSI pad. So, for example, I use RSSI pad to run the camera control. Um, what else? Yeah, the receiver is FR Sky RXSR. I dependent it so it can go here. And this is the VTX, this is the TBS uh, Unify Pro Nano. A pretty cool VTX, the, the only thing it can go up to 50 milliwatts only. But I think that's enough for a micro. Um, the propellers are Gemfan Flash 2540. Yep, a really good prop. I like them, durable enough and quite a lot of power. So, oh yeah, and the all-up weight of this build is 155 grams. So it's just a little bit heavy but still pretty good. I'm gonna roll in some flight footage and then come back to discuss the reasons for the problems that I experienced. Welcome back. So why did I experience those problems? Well, I think the answer is simple. That's because this frame is a racing frame. See, I usually fly kind of freestylish way 
and that means I crash upside down a lot and I also crash into like branches and in general have a tendency to fall from high altitude and things like that so if you just race with this frame you probably get crashes like in this manner so you come like straight at some obstacles and in that direction I think the frame should be pretty durable so also when you race you probably don't need this micro eagle camera because you know you are not flying like through the ghost branches and things like that so you pretty much can use something like a predator or even I don't know like micro swift and those cameras they have smaller lenses which will be much better protected with this frame uh, with racing you also don't really need super high RSSI values so this receiver antenna placement is also fine and the motor protection is also not that required for racing so I guess that's the answer so if your plan is to fly some kind of kind of freestyle with this frame I wouldn't recommend it honestly I mean look at this pile of parts but if you're gonna race yeah maybe maybe that's the frame for you I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it thumbs up thanks for watching cheers